Hello everyone, my name is Raven and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs and welcome back to another GZ Doom tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at the stair mode that is built into uh, Ultimate Doom Builder. Now you can make stairs the old fashioned way where you know you basically draw out all your line defs and everything and you know raise it all up manually and that is a perfectly viable way to do it. There's nothing wrong with that. However, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use the stair sector mode. I believe that's what it's called. Ah, the stair sector builder mode. That's a mouthful. I just call it the stair builder. It's way easier. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to have this go up and then down and reconnect over here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to drag this out some. Not too much, but a little bit. You know, we want a little bit of room like when we get in there. And then we're going to select the sector and we're actually going to change the ceiling height to 256 because otherwise it's just too small. And you can cut it up later like, you know, if you want, you know, like you don't want to walk in and it's like, oh, wow, this is like way bigger than before. Uh, you can alter that as you please. So uh, we'll hit L to go back into line def. We'll select our line right here because this is where we want our stair to start off from now. One thing to point out with the stair sector tool is that it likes to build off of wherever your line def is facing. So that little notch in the middle there, that's where it's facing, but you can change it and we'll see. So we'll go over here, stair sector mode, and we're going to go out eight sectors. This is the number of cuts and you can change the depth depending on how wide you want the stairs. And this is what I was talking about. You can alter the, uh, you know, how, um, you know, uh, like which direction you want the stairs to be built from. So in our case, we're actually going to be building technically from a height down. So we're going to have to do things in a little bit different of an order. So for the floor height, that's right. I have to type something in here. I'm going to set it to 16. But if we were to build this right now, this right here would actually be our lowest point. So one thing we could do is we could build it this way. And if we were to like say hit OK and go in here, you can see that this is actually perfectly fine. Um, and that's probably actually not a half bad way to do it, to be fair. Um, for some reason, the brain just didn't think about that. Always trying to work clever ways around a problem, and sometimes it's just not necessary there. OK, so we're going to go back to eight there. We're going to set it to the front so that you know we build it going gradually up. And we want our floor going up 16, which means the top of the floor, the last, is going to be 128. And we're going to kind of need to remember that because that's kind of going to be the way this works. Because basically it modifies it so that it goes up every 16. And then, you know, the base is zero, which is the floor. So we'll we'll tweak that in a little bit when we start messing with the uh, going down. And the other thing we need to do is we need to change the texture. You can change all different stuff, like the floor flat, the ceiling, so on. Um, the upper texture, we're going to do steps. Uh, I'm going to do this texture. And for the lower texture, same thing, steps. Uh, I don't know. This, maybe. And we'll hit OK. And then we'll go in here. Yeah, that seems fine. I mean, it didn't really change the floor, because I, I didn't change the floor. but this is fine. If there were edges, you would see a little bit different, but we can work with this. And it's not too bad. You come in, you see the stairs, you're like, ooh, stairs. And we also have all of this that we need to fix, but we'll fix that in just a second. So uh, let's go ahead and do Control Shift D, and we will build off of this here. And this we're going to do the same as before. Um, we're going to select our line def, we're going to right click. Oh, sorry, not right click. We're going to go over to our stair sector mode. We're going to go out exactly eight. We are going to reverse this. And for the modify, we're going to hit 16. And we're going to go negative. So we're going to start at 128. We're going to work our way down. And the last will be zero. Um, so for this one, I'm going to change the floor flat just so that I can have like a different texture. And then let's see, what did I use for the upper texture? I can't remember. I'll just use that. I'm sure it's fine. 
And then, yeah, that. We're just, you know, we're going wild with it. It's it's totally fine. Like, this whole thing is just being built, however. Okay, and if we go into here, yep, you can see. We go down. And our textures don't really look the same, but that's fine. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Control-Shift-D, and I'm going to add another uh, lovely little... Uh, sector there but i'm gonna change the surface because let's see there we go i want to set it back i'm gonna deselect that i'm gonna hit l i'm just gonna drag this sector out and for the well that's one way to do it <laughs> and i'm gonna drag this up so that it's up to here ah uh, no that connected um let's see there we go Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go in here and take a look. So this obviously needs to be fixed. So let's fix this really quick. And we fixed it. Perfect. We're amazing. And as you can also see that the brightness is a little different here. Um, it's a little brighter in there, and that's okay. But now what we want to do is fix all this tiling. So... One obvious way to do that, I'm going to deselect that, is to hit Control A, and that will auto align everything. You can also do, uh, was it Shift A? No. Uh, yeah, Shift A will auto align on the Y axis, and Control A will auto align on the X. And you can go into here, Tools, and then Preference, and then Controls, and then type in Texture. And you can see, so A will auto align the textures on the X axis, Control A, X, and Y and so on. And that looks much better. I mean, not like super, super great, because, you know, we're still kind of just utilizing the same texture everywhere, but, you know, it looks pretty good. So let's go test it out, and let's see how it looks when we actually go in-game. And we will grab our key, because we do need our key. Raise it up there. And we'll go in here. <clears throat> And we'll go into here. Now, this door probably won't open. Yeah, this door won't open, so we'll have to go the other way to open up that door. Yes, and see, this is, like, areas where, like, you know, you'd probably want to, like, lower this down to 128. Oh, no. Yeah, just to, just to kind of fix the, the door there a little bit. But there you go. So that's how you make stairs. It's relatively simple, and you got to see me make a few mistakes. So, you know, that's that's always great. You know, everyone makes mistakes. That's something that, you know, if you're on my Discord, I tell quite a few people that. It's not a big deal. No matter how long you've been doing something, you will make mistakes. Don't worry about it. Just fix it and move on, and everything's good. All right, so that's it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. You guys have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member-exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.